Hello and welcome back. In this moment I am sitting in the kitchen of my base on the official public test server. It's been a while since I was used to play regularly on this server. Sometimes I just get in to check if it's everything fine, to greet some old friends if I find some, and also to make some new friends, why not? This is the kitchen, you can see uh, I have some paintings and uh, some wood, my stove, it looks like some induction stove, but it's not, it's, uh, uh, it goes with uh, wood, you can also use some pit bricks. Anyways, it's been a while that I was thinking to make uh, a tour of my uh, base and uh, to share it with you. And, uh, well, now I decided to do it. So I hope you uh, like the idea. And, uh, well, let me know in the comment if you like the idea. So these are all my crocs. Yeah, they are empty, but the label uh, looks like uh, uh, it's uh, rotten food inside, but it's not. It's uh, empty. So why? I don't know. Hmm, okay. So I want to... Uh, tell you also the story of this uh, base and this location. First of all, this is not my first base on this server. This is the second one. The first one I built it the first time when I then uh, started to play on the server. And it was, uh, I'm not sure, I'll, probably three years ago. I don't remember. Two years, uh, I don't remember exactly. But it's been a while. And uh, uh, that base was located near the old uh, spawn. Not, not exactly nearby, but some a couple of thousand blocks uh, away from uh, the um, old uh, spawn. So I found uh, uh, a lot of people, I knew a lot of people, but uh, slowly they migrated on other place. And I found myself uh, alone in that area, so I decided to move uh, here near the new spawn and uh, because it was full of people. So, um, basically this was a hill. Oh, this I have to fix this because it's not really uh, nice to use. Anyways, this was a hill and I started from this place. So I started in my usual uh, shelter and uh, from there I started to expand a little bit. Uh, here you can see there is still the spawn point. And uh, yeah, so I built it a little bit uh, and I built then uh, the balcony um, with this uh, gap because I wanted to see the drifters and what's going on downstairs. And then I decided to uh, remove the, um, the soil and uh, the stones, uh, the rocks uh, uh, of the hill and I started to build here, downstairs. So. This became the kitchen and upstairs uh, became the sleeping room. And then with the time I built the other part of the base and this is now, um, this is no longer my uh, sleeping room, it's much more of a guest room. Mm, but I need to, let me take a look. I should, uh, this is not really comfortable, but I should probably Put a couple of chests, a couple of uh, paintings, something a little bit better because it's lo it looked really cheap. Anyways, then downstairs we have uh, this is the cellar. So oh, this is my cellar, a typical cellar of mine. I usually build them like that, and it's empty right now, in exception of uh, these grains that I. Um, uh, grow that I planted some days ago because I wanted to have something. I already had in mind to do uh, something. And, uh, but you can see that um, I had some stuff here. I was used to have some peanuts and soy, uh, cheese. Uh, um, well, I have still some uh, honey, two liters, uh, a quarter of liter. What do we have? Uh, rot. Okay. Mm. Uh, water. 0 0.04 liters of water. That's uh, strange. 
we have uh, all uh, the fat and the wax to seal the crocs, uh, mm, no flour, some salt on the side, you know, all the stuff that you need in the uh, cellar. And uh, these are also empty, yeah, that it's everything empty. There is some pineapple. Mm, I have a pen, I have an apple. Then, this is my uh, cellar where I was used to produce the cheese. And you can see cheddar and the woxed, then all the, uh, the barrels uh, for the, um, the milk uh, and uh, the shelves uh, to rip and the uh, wheels of cheese. This one instead is a new entry. So in the beginning the original plan was to... Um, I tried to make blue cheese, but I didn't understand really uh, the mechanic behind because uh, uh, it didn't work. Anyways, I just converted it in uh, mm, a wine production, alcohol production uh, place. But uh, I don't really like it. I want to do something else. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to work a lot of on this base uh, right now because I have a lot of other stuff to do. Anyways, down there I uh, could produce some uh, uh, wine. Oh, I forgot. Wait, wait, wait. This is a um, repertory. This is uh, something old. This fruit press is the very first one that I made, that I built when um, first came the new feature of uh, pressing the fruit. Uh, the thing is that it was bugged in the beginning, then Tyron decided to um, block it and uh, disable the function, so it was useless, and uh, I put it in a chest without throwing out, and, uh, um, well, it was in the chest since uh, until a couple of weeks ago. So then I uh, took it out, I, I found it, it was somewhere in one chest and I decided to put it here because now the uh, wine production is working, so why not? But this is uh, something old. <laughs> well, oh my armor, look at that, uh, now you can see that uh, uh, it was, uh, yeah, um, I used it. Hmm. I used it a little bit, for sure. The, um, the swords uh, uh, changed uh, automatically in the new uh, version, so I'm fine with that. These are all with the... Uh, these are meteoric iron, okay? And I have my uh, steel falx here. Falx is the name. Very good. So, let's uh, go ahead. Do I have something to eat downstairs? No, I don't think so. No, so, give me... Oh, I have something here. Let's do like uh, that. Nah, I didn't want to do that. Like that. <laughs> I'm messing up. I have uh, no... Um, I have it, yes. I have no other... I have no uh, onions or something to put, no greens, but uh, I can uh, do something uh, really quick, so I have some food. So now, <clears throat> this is the division of the two bodies of the, uh, of the base, of the building. And uh, here I have, um, oh, I've forgotten the, this thing. If it smells bad and look ugly, throw it in here. And this is uh, where I have all my rot. And uh, there is no, oh, there is no fertilizer. Uh, there was fertilizer. Okay, here there is some. Yeah. So we could also, you know what, do like that. And here we go. And then throw in. So we have something going on. And here I have all my fertilizer with my terra preta, high fertility soil, uh, some bone meal. Uh, this is wrong. This is the wood uh, that I was collecting for a friend. And uh, some seeds. Okay. Is it working? 
Oh yeah. And this? Oh. Oh, uh, I made uh, some mistake here. Yeah, I'm eating, I'm eating. Okay, so, uh, let it go for now. I think I made uh, something wrong there. I have no clue why there was uh, torches in there. Probably I did a mistake. Anyways, so let's go ahead. This was my first blacksmith. Then I turned it in um, storage for all the boards. And then I decided that uh, it was much more efficient to have all the boards uh, into a chest. So now it is uh, room for uh, some barrels for the compost. And still I have the fires and here I'm smelting the, uh, all the metals. So we have uh, uh, some chunks here, you see, and uh, some uh, uh, brown coal. Ooh, the anthracite, anthracite, anthracite probably, or anthracite. Uh, this is the first and only anthracite that I found. Uh, it was, uh, um, it's a couple of years old, probably also more than a couple of years. And, uh, well, I kept it. I used uh, only uh, some pieces just to make uh, experiments. And you can see that uh, it has a burn duration really long. And uh, this I found uh, a, a very generous deposit uh, near the old base uh, that is uh, far away from here. Probably in the last part of this um, tour, I'm going to show you my old base. Then, all the nuggets, some uh, black coal, some graphite. Oh, graphite, okay. Yeah, something on the side, some tools uh, on the side. And then we have here the new blacksmith. So this was the, the first place where I saw it. Ah, okay. And, uh, you know, I have all my uh, things here. Still a lot. I didn't know that I have uh, all this uh, leather. But um, I have some. Because... Um, I was used to forge armors and uh, tools and sell them, you know, to other players. And uh, I have my, I'm really uh, proud to show you my collection of grass. <laughs> you know, uh, it's uh, probably useless, but I uh, managed to sell one uh, chest of this uh, grass. So I'm pretty proud of that because I think that nobody uh, have been able to <laughs> to do that. Anyways, fat, all the, um, of course, the wood slabs and uh, whatever we need, some sulfur, alum that I found, uh, powders, uh, what I need, saltpeter, uh, borax and uh, sulfur, uh, some sticks, uh, uh, not that many, need to, to get some wood finished, so all the stuff that um, that I need. We have fire clay, uh, blue clay, all the... Um, mm, oh, uh, now I can put that here. Okay. And uh, salt, uh, some salt here that I have on side. And uh, yeah, uh, resin for the... and the stuff for, for the windmill, uh, flower pots some more fat. I was used to have a lot of that. And uh, then we have all the stone here. All the sorts of stone. Andesite, uh, basalt. Uh, this should be all the uh, the wood. The I mean the, the logs. And then uh, uh, we have, uh, you already seen the other stuff. Then we have all the um, special stuff, so the, the, the rocks, uh, some stone bricks, uh, you know, uh, polished, uh, uh, slanted roof, uh, quartz, uh, whatever, olivine, and the bauxite. Yeah, some, oh, uh, the, the most of this stuff I've forgotten. All the stuff for the refractory uh, things, and uh, the mortar, 
and all the, um, the spare parts. And uh, yeah, this is the, um, the machinery. So this is the uh, large gear and uh, it looks a little bit like the one that I have on my uh, main series. You see, if you collect, connect it. It's, uh, well, right now it's not really windy. It's not that windy, but uh, usually it's way faster than this. Then I have, of course, my health hammers. Can use one, can use two at the same time, but it's really, really weak now, the, the, the wind and the quern. So it's my classical setup, uh, the quern with the two chisel blocks just to prevent the materials to uh, fall on these sides. So it's only falling into the hopper and then it goes into the chest. So this is my um, new blacksmith and we have here the tanning uh, part and these are the three levels of uh, tannings you know uh, the lime water weak tanning and uh, uh, the strong tanning uh, all the way up and on this side usually I take uh, the remaining and I put it there and then when it's full I uh, move it back here so I can uh, save some some uh, liquids and that's it yeah yeah this is the output of the uh, pulverizer and some stuff to kill because I have my pit kiln over there so um, that's my windmill I don't know why uh, but in this area everybody uh, was used to build uh, just with the wooden axle and no supports so I just uh, adapt to the uh, local uh, culture and I did the same and this is of course the coffin uh, this is all uh, tier 3 so I never changed a block here and we have our burner down here I chiseled some uh, basalt and I made some experiments when uh, the first time that uh, came out uh, the <laughs> the the feature that you can uh, uh, make signs on the um, on the walls but um, mm, I didn't use it to be honest some charcoal some other charcoal and uh, this is my let me put on this one uh, this is my um, coke oven uh, but I didn't use it a lot because uh, hmm I don't know I don't like to convert uh, uh, the um, black uh, coal or the brown coal in charcoal because uh, I don't know I like their properties how long they burn and uh, uh, I rather to build uh, to to produce charcoal for uh, the um, uh, iron for the steel production and uh, in, for that uh, of course I built uh, this uh, uh, charcoal pit that is uh, five per five I think per three so uh, 75 uh, stacks of uh, wood it's a little bit of uh, of a nestle to to uh, to fill it but uh, i was used to uh, buy stuff and exchange uh, stuff for wood and then also for brown coal so um, i always buy, uh, bought the 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 food uh, uh, the wood i'm sorry uh, that i needed to, uh, for the charcoal here we have the um, the pit kilns i don't like uh, how i did it here I wouldn't make it the same if it was uh, now, but um, I don't know why I did it like that. Now it's like that and that's it. And uh, of course this is the um, windmill, so it's uh, not, nothing uh, special to, to show, but uh, okay, I have four uh, windmills here and uh, one, three here so it's uh, a seven uh, right now it's not really you see uh, speed uh, wind speed is 30 percent 20 between yeah it's a uh, variable and 
you see that uh, there is the large gear here you can see it uh, here and uh, the axle that goes uh, all the way uh, inside but you would say but the old a but the old ape if you have to repair something you have to break all the glass no i'm not that hey i am making a presentation here oh <laughs> i gain another uh, temporal gear anyways i was saying no uh, i don't have to uh, remove it because i i thought about that and if i have to repair i can go simply downstairs here if i can hey yes and look at this uh, majesty look at that uh, and i can walk uh, all the way uh, over here and i can make uh, my reparation you see we are underneath the windmills and uh, yeah so it is like that now to go uh, from one side to the other the only way is to cross uh, uh, here and go uh, you know on the uh, large gear and this is something that I changed uh, in my uh, new series because uh, I uh, digged uh, one block uh, lower. Um, the downside is that I cannot reach the um, clutches from uh, a comfortable position. I have to climb down uh, one block at least. Anyways, this is... Well, I should uh, clean it up. I never finished to clean it up. Oh, this is where I prepare my ingots. And this is my vault. So the, um, the place where I have all my stuff. Uh, the, uh, some plates, uh, uh, some lead. Uh, I was used to be uh, out of lead. But uh, then I found a player that needed a lot of tools and armor. And in exchange I said, okay, bring me some lead. And this is it copper silver oh i never noticed that look at that the the reflection look yeah the silver and also the copper a little bit the copper but gold and the silver are really you see yeah that's cool i it's the first time that i see that the others uh, are not like that Okay, uh, the plates, uh, no, the plates uh, are not going to, to shine. Hmm. Pretty, pretty cool. So, we have some guests here around. So, it is night time and I have a group of uh, uh, people outside. Uh, they are making some noises, but just ignore them. Um, I hope you enjoyed this first part of the tour. It was only the first floor, the ground floor of the base. Uh, the next time I want to show you the uh, first floor and also the surrounding, the rest of the, of the base, you know, uh, my animals and uh, all the crops. Other than that, I'm gonna show you then uh, something that I built with some friends because I was used to play with a couple of friends and we uh, founded the uh, Guild of Explorers and we were used to explore a lot, go caving a lot, collect a lot of materials and stuff and we built also the uh, base of the uh, Guild of Explorers, our offices and our exposition. So I want to show you that in the future. And then I want to also go ahead and in the other future, <laughs> I'm gonna show you my old base and all that uh, world that was where I was used to play. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm the Odd Ape and we will see you the next time. Since then, have a nice one. Bye bye.